Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about uh, optical band gap and uh, Wubak and tail. So this is the paper that I found from the web search. So let's go down and uh, look at the, the illustration. Illustration for the for the for the band gap. So we know that here is conduction band, here is the valence band, there is the absorption between them. So this is the optical band gap. So we can determine it from the torque plot. We call it the torque region. So there is a tail below the conduction band, and there is another tail above the valence band. We call it the Wubak tail. So there is absorption between this is the valence band to the here is the localized tail state and there is another absorption from the localized tail state to the conduction band so the absorption from zero we call it Wubaka region so we all, we already know that the localized the localized tail state will call the absorption so we call it this is WAT region. It is weak absorption tail region. So let's go up and look at the absorption spectrum. In this spectrum, we see that here is T. T is total plot region. We can determine the optical band gap from here. And there is another region we call the Wubaka tail region. So with this region, we can calculate the Wubaka energy. And uh, this small region, yeah, this small region labeled uh, WAT weak, weak, uh, weak absorption tail region. With this region, we can also calculate the, the energy transition from here. So how to do that? Here is the equation. Here is the equation. Actually, it is the uh, optical absorption as a function of photon energy. Yeah, this is the exponential function. Yeah. So we can actually do a log mm, do a log algebra and then we can we can get the linear function. So we can fit this function and we can get the uh, we can get the slope. Actually this is the ng, yeah. Uh, it is the reci reciprocal of the slope of this linear function. So similarly, we have the uh, another uh, expression for the Wubak ND. We can do the same algebra with the log before them and uh, do a linear fitting and get the reciprocal of the slope and then we get the energy. The problem is how to calculate the optical absorption. So there is another paper. Let's look at here. So this paper, you can also get it from the web search. So it's free. So let's go down. So here is the talk plot. The talk plot, talk plot. Yeah. So plot actually is a method, method to determine the optical band gap. So this is the equation. This is the equation. So alpha, alpha is the optical absorption coefficient. Here is the photon energy. Here is the power 1 over gamma. Here is the constant. This is energy minus. Here EG is the band gap. So we know that the band gap actually is the interception on the X axis or photon energy axis. We see this curve. Here is the energy. Here is the here is the torque plot. And the intercept on the X axis. So here is the optical band gap. Now we have to decide how to calculate the alpha optic absorption. We have another equation, we call it the KM, KM function. So with this function, actually, 
we can design the object observation. Okay, now we already know the, how to calculate the optical bound, bound gap, how to get the Wubok energy and uh, the localized tail energy. Thank you very much for your for your watching. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to let me know.